religious people want to fight for God. They don't trust God. Their God is so weak and dead that they have to protect him. Why is Damina fighting the word of God? Let's fight for God. Can you? You never fight for yourself. Gamaliel told them, gentlemen, this man, this thing that they have started, if it's of God, it will stand the test of time. If it's not of don't fight them. Leave them alone. Leave me alone now. This thing that I'm teaching, is, if it's of God, your children's children will teach it. All this you are abracadabra you're doing. Your children will rise up after you have died and they will preach this message. They'll be carrying my, my, my messages all over your house. They will even pass on top of your grave with my messages after you have died. They'll be preaching it everywhere. You can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Why are you afraid? Leave God alone. Are you protecting God or God is protecting? Leave God to fight his battle. Eh? Eh? Leave God. Since you say we, have, we are against God, can't God fight? Leave him now. Let him fight for himself. Or is your God handless? Religion always wants to fight for their God. And when you see people fighting for God, it's a proof they don't know him. They are far from God. Totally far. They are far, far. Anybody you see fighting for God, he's far from. The best you can do is to bring out the word of God and defend it in superior explanation. Finish. They want to stone for God. But if God is really angry, let him react now.